Hello, I'm Leo. Today we are going to learn HSK one from the very beginning, lesson one. We are going to learn something about the greetings first, and in the first two lessons, we are going to learn the things about the pinyin system. That is the phonetic transcription. You will be learning how to pronounce these characters, and from lesson three, we are going to learn the characters. And the grammars, the language points. Okay, if you have any questions, you can get add me on WeChat or send me、uh, this WhatsApp message, or you can also send me an email. Okay, now let's get started. First, let's take first let's take a look at some greetings. In the first, in the first sec,、uh, in the first conversation. We can see there is one person greeting to another person. So the first person is A, the second person is B. So what A said to B is, 你好你好 in Chinese means hello, and B made a corresponding reply to A. So B said, 你好 is also hello. So in Chinese, the greetings. It's simple, just like English. It's hello to hello, and the characters are 你好 and 你好 Right now, you don't need to remember these characters. You just know that we use this to greet each other, and you know how to pronounce it. Okay, so 你 here is a pronoun, means you, and pay attention. In Chinese, is a singular way to say you, and 好 Here is an adjective. Is an adjective means good or fine. So 你好 literally means wish you good, and this conversation, these two characters, this word happens in the beginning of a conversation. So it's corresponding to English is hello. So that is 你好 and the reply is 你好 Okay, now let's go to conversation two. So in conversation two, we see two young people greeting to the elderly. Okay, so we say the、uh, young people here, the two young people here, is A, and the elderly people here is B. Then A said, 您好 Pay attention. This one is 您好 not 你好 because we use 您 To show respect, so in English is still hello, but in Chinese is a little bit different. Now, since A said hello to the elderly, then B replied, 你们好你们好 means hello as well, but here is a little bit different from the previous hello here because this one is 你好 but this one is 你们好 Because there are two persons here, so 你们 is the plural way to say you. So let's take a look at the words. 您 means you is a polite way to say you. 你们 also means you is a plural way to say you. Okay, now we are going to the third conversation. It's It's a conversation about how to say "I'm sorry" and how to forgive somebody. So, when someone did something wrong, for example, A did something wrong and A said something to B, then B says, "Don't mean uh, is that okay or that's all right?" So A said, "I'm sorry." In Chinese, is 对不起，对不起 and B would say. 没关系，没关系。That means that's okay. So, 对不起 here is a verb to say sorry, and 没关系 here means that's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, these are the text we are going to learn in the first place. Now we are going to the initials and the finals of pinyin. That is the transcript, the phonetic transcription.